Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know I look a little funky right now because I don't have any eyelashes on. Um, I have a full face of makeup but we are missing one of the most important things. Um, that's because today we are going to be applying some magnetic lashes. I'm really excited. I've wanted to try these for a really really long time but I've always just been like a little bit nervous. I don't know. I just putting like magnets near my eye just has always been like a little bit scary to me um, but I really wanted to test these out on camera because I'm seeing so many of these come out lately drugstore brands are starting to make them and they're becoming a little bit more accessible and affordable so I figured that we would give them a try and see if they are really worth all the hype and how they work so I've never tried this before obviously um, and we're going to see if we can figure it out together I mean we're like falsy experts here so like how hard can it be right um, so the lashes that I purchased are actually from glam glamnetic Glamnetic. Um, I saw an Instagram ad for these and I thought that I would give them a try just because their styles looked like very mink-like and very like high quality lashes. This came like moderately quickly I would say. Um, so basically I just ordered the lashes here and then I got the magnetic liner which is technically the glue I guess. Um, so there's instructions on the back of the box so we'll follow those. I believe I paid like 50 bucks for these I think. So they're not cheap. Um, I know Ilore and Ardell has just come out with magnetic falsies so if you want to try those out maybe go for those first. Um, these were these were a little bit more pricey than I was expecting it to be but if they're really good quality then that's great because you can reuse them a ton of times so does it really come out to be that expensive with the amount of usage you get out of these I don't know so I will definitely link these down below and then I will put the price somewhere around here just so I'm giving you guys the most accurate information um, so the style I got um, so I got these lavish lashes. This is what they look like. The packaging is really, really cute. It comes in a nice box um, and it's magnetic. And then I think the style is A14, can that be? Um, I don't know where the little packing slip went, um, but this is what they look like. I just got some kind of like rounded fluffy ones. Um, they look really, really pretty. And then this is the Glamnetic Magnetic Eyeliner. So this is what that looks like. I do have a little bit of top liner on. It's just like a pencil coal liner that I kind of smudged out. So we can definitely apply this on top of what we already have going on. And they do have an Instagram. Like I said, I saw an Instagram ad for these. So I can also link that down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. So for application, it says allow 20 to 60 seconds to fully dry. Touch to make sure it doesn't transfer before the next step. Cut magnetic lash down to fit eye width. Adhere lashes with liner. To reuse, clean magnets with nail or Q-tip dipped with makeup remover. Okay, so that's one of the things I wanted to see is if you could trim these and just apply them like regular lashes. So far, it seems like it's kind of the usual process. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so we can get applying. So I got my nice big mirror here. Um, so you guys can kind of get a good view. Here's what the lashes look like. They're really pretty. They look really nice quality. Um, I don't know if you can see that though, how thick that band is. I just, these look like they're going to be very visible. Okay. All right. So the band itself is actually not that thick at all. Oh my God. Come on, focus. Um, it is just like a normal lash. I don't know if you can see the little magnets attached to it. And then the big thick strip that I was kind of worried about is what adheres it to the packaging. Um, so that doesn't come off. That just stays in there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh my god, it really does snap in and out of there. That's so crazy. So just to show you what it looks like when you put them back in, they just kind of like snap in there. That's fun. So what I really want to do is test this on my hand first before I apply it on my eyeball just to make sure everything goes smoothly um, and I don't jack this up. So what this looks like is it's just a brush applicator liner. It's not like super matte black. I would say it's kind of grayish. Um, it's thick though. 
and the brush is not very flexible. All right, so I'm just going to swipe it on there. Dang, I don't know how I'm gonna get a nice clean line with this. So I'm just gonna let that dry, I guess, essentially. Um, and then I wanna try sticking the lash on my hand. All right, so I think we're mostly dry. I got my lash here. So I'm gonna try and do this, I don't know. What? What? Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. That is bananas. It's like really stuck on there too. Oh my God, I want these on my eyeballs right now. So I noticed when you pull the lash off, it does take some of the liner glue with it. So that's definitely probably why you have to clean these after every single use. So I'm gonna go ahead and just measure these bad boys out and trim them. The only problem I would see with trimming them is with the little magnets, um, there's little there's little magnets on like each section of the lash. I don't know if you can see that. And basically you can't, I don't think you can cut through those. So you would have to cut like an entire section of the lash off to include the magnet. So that's one thing. You can't really customize these perfectly. So they might come out being a little bit short, but we're still gonna trim them. I still wanna wear them, still test them out. Um, I have no idea where my lash scissors are, so I'm gonna be using nail clippers. <laughs> Um, so professional. So basically, let's just see. Yeah, I think I need to cut like an entire section off. Okay. Now that I trimmed the lash where, and I took off one of the magnets, am I going to have like my corner lifting because there's not a magnet in the very corner to like tack it down? Um, so that's one of the things I'm gonna have to see. I think that fits perfectly. So I got my super zoom mirror here and my liquid magnetic liner. So I'm just gonna paint this on. It does turn matte when it's dry. So that's kind of a good indicator. It kind of helps you judge when it's, when it's ready. All right. Oh God. Oh no, it's sticking to my mirror. Oh my God, this is kind of messy. Oh my God, I literally just felt it attach. Okay, I can just use my fingers for this. I don't have to be super precise. Look at that. So the only thing I'm noticing right now is I need to go a little thicker on the inner corner. That's amazing though. These are cute lashes. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. I'm actually like appalled. Oh, how good these work and how good they look. These are kind of cute, right? This is this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting this to be an absolute disaster and to go terribly. But you guys, I'm like actually kind of obsessed with these and they work so well. This is this is not a gimmick. Like for real, for real, not a gimmick. This is not just like some cheeky little Instagram ad. I I don't even know what to think right now. These were awesome. I'm definitely getting more of these. These are so cool. I wonder, they probably last so long. Y'all, could you imagine for when you get married, your eyelash is not gonna pop off because it can't, it's magnetic. It's like stuck there. I wonder if these would last through like crazy crying and wind. Can I take them off and put them back on, do we think? Let's try. Okay, <laughs> that was easy.
and back on. All right, Glamnetic, I approve. This was awesome. I'm so excited. These look so good. These are really, really cool. So if you guys are interested in testing out some magnetic lashes, I think, I think they're worth the hype. I think they're so cool. I see these being super, super reusable. Like once you clean them, they're good to go every single time. They are not going anywhere. You can cry, you can laugh, you can go on a boat. They're not going to fly off. Like they're on there, but still like super easy to remove and very, very comfortable. And the styles that they have on their website are actually really, really, really cute. So if you guys are interested in checking these out, again, I will leave them linked down below. I am so surprised, like so pleasantly surprised. I thought this was gonna be super gimmicky and like a waste of time and money. I'm really glad I ordered these. Um, next up, I wanna try like the Ardell or the Ilor ones. I bet those would be really pretty too. Um, but yeah, the styles on this website are really, really pretty. They're like mink-like, like really fluffy, beautiful, high quality lashes. I'm gonna be wearing these a lot more. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so that is going to conclude today's video. This was kind of a shorter one. I just really wanted to test these out for you guys. I thought it was a really cute, novel idea, and I'm just so excited that they actually worked out. I'm, I, I'm blown away. I did not see that coming. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed testing out a new product with me. If you've tried magnetic lashes, let me know. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you wear them all the time? Do I need more pairs? Like I just, ugh, I just feel like I've been living under a rock. Like what, where have I been? This is so fun. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.